Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. We're back out in the Bait Laboratory today and we are going to be making probably one of my newest favorite drop shot baits and it's the Crosstail Carrot. It's a mold uh, that Do It Molds makes. I got it a little bit ago and I've, I've made a few of these and I've got some remelts that I'm gonna remelt down and uh, make a like a watermelon pearl laminate color. Uh, I was smart enough to separate the sprues and everything like that when I made the original batch. So we're gonna make some more. I never put that out on video for these crosstail carrots. So I wanna show you guys the mold, show you what this bait looks like. And if it's something that you wanna get for yourself, go check it out on the Do It Molds website. So let's get into the video. Let's make these baits. Okay, so here are the colors that we are gonna be laminating today. As you can see, that's a watermelon with some purple flake. And then we have our pearl. This is a pearl powder with a little tiny bit of blue powder, but that's what we're gonna be using today to make our laminates. We'll be melting that stuff down and making some drop shot baits. So one quick thing I wanna to mention to you guys when you're doing remelts is to get some of this plastisol stabilizer. It's gonna help protect your plastic when you're reheating it, because you're gonna bring it all, obviously it's gonna be all solid cool room temperature and then you're going to be heating it back up and sometimes it can yellow sometimes you can burn it and this stuff's going to help you out and save you some plastic all right so the plastic's in the microwave and um, i want to show you guys the specific little containers that contain the powders that i just mentioned for that pearl color right here we got the soft baits pearl powder and then we got the soft baits hyper highlight blue pearl that's what's in that pearl color so right here we got the crosstail carrot mold um, as you can see, one side's flat, and then it goes into what gives the shape of the bait. It's a real short bait, drop shot bait. Um, I'm really liking it so far. I only got to go fishing with it once, but I have a feeling this is going to become one of my favorites. Okay, so our Plastisol is nice and hot. It's ready to go. I got my dual injector set up, and I've got my blending block ready to go, and I've been using my thermometer to really help me out to get those temperatures right. Okay, so we're going to give this a go. I think my temperatures are close enough. We're gonna suck up our plastic. Make sure we got a good flow out. Yep, we do. I gotta spin it, cause I gotta make sure my pearl is on the right side. Get everything set up. And we're gonna do nice even pressure down. Hold that pressure. And then we're gonna top off the sprue. And from the looks of it, we might have had a good first attempt here. Okay, so we're gonna check out our baits, see how they turned out, take our clamps off, open up the mold. And so far, we're looking successful. Let's turn these over, see how they laminated. And they laminated well. You can definitely see that distinct line right there. Let's get these in the bath and go on to the next pour. Okay, so we're gonna pull out our plastic and try to get at least one more run out of these cups before we have to add anything to it. Um, the best thing about this mold is that you can get 10 baits at a time out of it. So it goes a long way. Make sure we got good feed out, we do. Come over to the blending block right here. We're going to go even pressure down. Hold the pressure when it stops. And then we're going to top off that sprue. And the way that sprue looks, it looks like we're going to have a good laminate once again. All right, so it's time to open up round number two. From what I see at the top of that sprue, it looks like we're gonna have good laminate, but you never know until you open it. Um, so let's check it out. So far, so good. They aren't perfect, but they are pretty darn good. Like this one right there has a little bit of bleed over from the, from the green, but overall, I'm satisfied with them. I'm happy with, that's a good laminate right there. Uh, this side right there, that's a pretty good laminate as well. And we'll put these ones in the bath as well. So as you can see, these baits have a pretty cool laminate color. I like how the pearl is just subtle. It's on the bottom. And I really like how that green turned out with the purple flake, a little bit of blue. And then um, you can see how this has a unique tail design. Um, I really think this is gonna be a great drop shot bait. I definitely think you could also use this on an underspin or something like that because there's a lot of those flat 
plastic trailers that do really well on underspins. So here's a little tip for everybody. Before you start doing your plastics, make sure to clean your table off. Um, I was only able to get two runs out of the plastic that I had. I had enough to probably do another run for sure, but my table was so dirty that it the leftover plastic ended up picking up a bunch of dust and little lead pieces that were on the table from when I was making some baits before, doing some lead baits, and I wasn't able to get as many as I wanted, but thankfully that mold has 10 baits per run. So I was able to make 20 baits. So that's enough for a day out in the water, probably enough for a, a pretty good day out in the water fishing those baits. I think they're gonna make a really great drop shot bait. Definitely think you can use it on something like an underspin or something like that as well. If you're looking for something real, real subtle with not a whole lot of action, um, you can nose hook that bait. You can definitely fish it weedless as well. Gonna probably be one of my go-to drop shot baits when the fishing gets real, real tough because it's so small. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of those baits down below in the comments. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching. See you guys later, bye.